All right, our final topic tonight. As supporters of Israel continuing to face off against anti-Israel delegitimization campaigns on college campuses across the U.S., a group of 40 student leaders beyond the Jewish faith have arrived in Israel as part of the Jewish National Fund USA's Caravan for Democracy student leadership mission to Israel. The unique mission allowing student leaders to explore Israel's diverse melting pot of peoples as well as the issues that matter them most and through meetings with political, cultural, and community leaders from all different backgrounds and faiths. Joining us in the studio to share their experiences from this year's JNF USA Caravan for Democracy Student Leadership Mission are Lexi Deutsch from Regis University in Colorado and Miguel Acosta Loza from Gonzaga University in Washington State. Thank you both so much for being with us today. Thank you for having us. Thank you. I'm, I'm, so first of all, I'm very excited to have you here and to hear about your experiences in Israel. Uh, so that is my first question. What is your first impression, really, since landing uh, in Israel? And how do they compare to maybe some of the preconceptions that you had? Uh, Miguel, if you want to start. I think Israel is a rainbow nation. Like, that's the, the first impression that I ever had. It's amazing. I, my mother tongue is Spanish, and I thought that I would never get to use it here. I talked to a Mexican oh, yeah. Jew a few days ago. I talked to another person from Egypt who happens to speak Spanish, too. Uh, so, I mean, it's just a diversity. And, and this is well beyond a melting pot. This is every person can be their own person. Interesting. I think that's one of the things that's impressed me as well, is just how diverse and how um, just lively everything is here. I had maybe heard some not great conceptions when I was home, especially lately in the news, but that's not at all what I've seen here. Everyone's happy and thriving, and it's really, truly beautiful here. Would you say that you've seen like a side of Israel that perhaps uh, you know, is not shown in, in your news? Like something that was really just totally new to you? Daily life. Really? As simple as that, daily life. I took a class on the Arab-Israeli conflict, and never we got into food, we never got into culture, we never got into what does a daily Israeli life look like. Yeah. And this is what we're getting to see now. It's amazing. Wow. I agree with that. Even today, just going to a small restaurant here that's, you know, fa um, family restaurant where their family came here from the 1880s and has just lived there. Or a couple days ago, we got to go to a pool in a kibbutz and just getting to um, dance with eight and nine-year-olds and just kind of have the daily life piece that you don't see very often. All right, so I've got dancing with eight and nine-year-olds <laughs> and, and I've got going to restaurants. Hit, hit me with some more highlights of this trip. Go ahead, Lexi. Um, uh, I am someone who comes from the Christian faith, so I think seeing the Christian holy sites has been something that I've really cherished, just getting to come and deepen my faith here in that way um, and be in the places I've read about in scriptures has been really special for me. Yeah, learning more about accessibility in Israel, mm -hmm. uh, sustainability, it's amazing and how the technology world has evolved so much in, in this part of the world. Mm -hmm. so, what, so what do you hope to come away with uh, from this visit most, I should, I should uh, ask? Mm -hmm. A story. That's what I want to come off of from here. It's, it's a story and being able to tell my own experience. Uh, of course, we came with JNF, mm -hmm. but we are not told what to think. We are here to make and come to our own conclusions. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I think, again, a very similar answer of just being able to go home and go back to our campuses and our friends and when we hear things on the news, we, well, maybe that's not what I saw and just kind of appreciating even the diversity amongst the other students that are here, everyone asks such great questions. I feel like I don't speak enough because I just keep hearing these questions and get thinking um, and continue to think about these home and be able to learn as much as I can from the people here and the cultures here. All right, well, first of all, <laughs> just on a personal note, as we mm -hmm. mentioned earlier, I know how much pressure there is, honestly, and so I want to apl applaud you both just for coming and, and exposing <laughs> yourself, seriously, because not, not everybody willing to, is willing to open themselves to, to uh, that experience. And so thank you both so much for coming in and thank you for coming yeah. to the studio. Of course. Thank you. Thank you again.